Who is calling me from a number that I don't... Look at that number, you guys. That's like a million digits. Who's calling me? I don't know. Forward. I don't know you. You don't know me. We'll just forward it. Hey everyone, hope you're all doing good. So today I am coming to you from my bedroom and I'm praying that the lighting will work out. If you're not already subscribed to me, don't forget to subscribe down below. I'd love to get to know you better as one of my subscribers over here in my family. Today's video is a collab with my friend Jeannie from A Little About A Lot. I love Jeannie so much, you guys. Um, she was one of the first moms that really encouraged me and inspired me on YouTube. Like. Her and I are a lot alike in the sense that her husband is a pastor, my husband's going to seminary right now. We're both believers and she is an amazing like makeup artist. She loves pouring into her children and into her husband and she is someone that really just, I feel like she pours so much into me and um, she just encourages me and inspires me and I just, I love her. And so I thought, you know, this would be a really great opportunity for all of you guys to get to know another mom that I feel like really encourages me and that can encourage you as well. So today's collab, we are going to be sharing some encouragement. Jeannie and I are gonna be talking about five affirmations. Five affirmations for moms. Affirmations that we tell ourselves on the daily in hopes that it can encourage you and can inspire you as a mom. If there are any affirmations that you tell yourselves or that you want other moms to know, please comment those down below and share them with us. The first affirmation that I have is that I am the best mom for my kids. I feel like this is so huge because it's so easy to compare ourselves with other moms. I know me, I can compare myself to other friends that I have that maybe have different parenting styles than me or different lifestyle choices than I and it can be really easy to look at them and look at their kids and think they would probably do a better job handling this situation with my kids or they would probably do a better job with my kids than I can and it can just be really, it can be a very aggressive downward spiral. I may not be the best mom. I am not the best mom. I may not have the best choices all the time. My kids may not eat the healthiest. I may not say things the best way all the time. We may not have the best schedule, but I am the best mom for my kids. We have to believe that God gave us our children for a purpose. He gave me my children for me because he knew that I would be the best mom for my children. Okay, now this one I tell myself all the time, and it is, I am a vessel of joy. I wanna say I was in like second or third grade, and we had a Sunday school class, and they said, you always bring something with you. You are either a peacemaker or a peace breaker. And that has always been such a good visual in my mind. And so I always tell myself, Jeannie, you are a vessel of joy. Everywhere you go, let people see joy coming from you. Leave joy wherever you go. Even if it's like people that you don't know, I just, you guys, I'm a very visual person. I think it's because like the artistic part of me, I have to visualize things. But I always picture myself as I'm walking, I want to leave little, a little trail of sparkly joy wherever I go. And is that always possible? No, because I'm moody. I get in bad moods. Um, sometimes I don't feel joyful. But this is another thing that I have to remind myself that I am a vessel of joy, not only to strangers and people that I come in contact with, but I am a vessel of joy for my family. That means that I can really change the mood of my family quick. And if you're a mom, you know that. And so I have to remind myself, I am a vessel of joy and I want to be pouring joy into my kids so they are joyful as well. The next affirmation that I have for you guys is that I am enough. You are enough. You don't need to be anything other than what you are. You don't need to be more, you don't need to be less. God created you for who he wants you to be. He created you to be the mother of your children, the spouse of your spouse, and you are enough. You don't need to dress a certain way. You don't need to act a certain way. You don't need to look a certain way or talk a certain way. You are enough simply being you. I read a quote a while ago that says you cannot pour from an empty cup and this is such a good visual again for me and a good reminder that the better I take care of myself the better I can take care of others now I have 
firsthand been experiencing this because I haven't been well. Um, and me not being well is one thing, but my son actually has a fever right now. And trying to take care of a kid while you're not feeling well is so much harder. So make sure you take care of yourself. And that means mentally, spiritually, physically, um, everything, you guys. I have been trying to eat healthier. I've been trying to exercise so my body is stronger. You know, I pray, I meditate on the word because I know that the stronger I am for myself and taking care of myself and everything that's inside of me, I'm going to be a better mom. I'm going to be a better wife. I'm going to be a better friend. I'm going to be a better everything. And I feel like especially as a mother, your first instinct is to always help others first. But it's like when you're in the airplane, you got to put that gas mask on you first before you try to help other people. So please, please, please treat yourself. Treat yourself, moms. Like go out, get yourself a coffee. I promise you, yes, Starbucks is totally overpriced. A $5 coffee, that's nuts. Is it worth it? Yes. If it makes you have a little bit better of a day, if it's gonna enhance your mood, I promise you you're gonna be a better mom all day, you guys. I just have come to grips with, there's just some things that I've accepted it's a little bit of a sacrifice for the overall good. So just moms, please take care of yourself. Please get good sleep. Make sure you make it a priority to get good sleep. And that's something that I am working on. Make it a priority to have a little bit of time for yourself, whether that means going for a run, exercising, reading a book, drinking a full cup of tea or whatever it is. Make time for yourself because I promise you the better you take care of yourself, the better you can take care of other people. This last one that I have for you guys is that I can be a better person. I can make changes, I can change. I feel like this is so important because sometimes, especially I feel like when I'm going through like a rough season, maybe I'm going through a season of depression or I just feel like I've gotten in a rut and I just can't rise above. Sometimes we can believe the lies that we tell ourselves as far as like, oh, I'm never gonna be able to do this. I'm never gonna be able to stop doing this. And the fact is we can do anything we set our mind to. We can be better people. We can rise above. We can be better moms. We can make better choices and we can change. All right guys, so those are the affirmations for my video. Don't forget to go on over to Jeannie's video. It'll be linked down below and you guys can check out the rest of the affirmations that we have for you guys over in her video. And if you head on over to Jeannie's channel, be sure to subscribe to her. Check out the rest of the content that she has because I know you guys are going to love her. So I hope you have a good day. I hope you're all blessed and I hope that these affirmations spoke to you and gave you some encouragement today. I'll see you guys later. Bye. And it's funny because do you guys remember growing up and your parents saying to you like, it's not my job to entertain you. Remember my mom used to say that all the time. <laughs> and now I get it.